What is up everyone? This is your buddy Dragon Juice 27 and today we have something very very different for you guys. It is a Minecraft and okay, so I love Minecraft. I mean, one of my top favorite games of all time. I've discovered it kind of recently and I want to test it out. So you guys, it's your decision now. Should we continue the series or should we not? Um I'm going to set a limit of about 20 likes by tomorrow if you want to continue this series otherwise we'll just stick to platinum and majora's mask so let's begin we're gonna enter a world called dragon island in survival mode and let's go so we create the new world let's do it i'm so pumped up for this right now because i love to play minecraft i love to talk to you guys so like i'm getting the best of both worlds right now and I'm recording with Fraps. Hopefully it doesn't lag too much. I did a test recording earlier. And yeah, check that out. Barely any lag at all. So here, first we're going to do, we're going to get some wood. That's the most important ingredient in Minecraft at the beginning of the game. And even throughout the game, it's very important. You can't substitute it for anything. And usually I end up running out of them. And that's why I'm going to collect so much right now. First of all, what I like to do is collect the most in one tree and then I just go into my inventory here put it in shift left click get the wooden planks right 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 uh, right right kind of fail get the crafting table up here put these in here get some sticks about 20 should be good take these back set up the crafting table build us an awesome axe and um, what's it called? A pickaxe. So we need both of those. So first, ask, the axe will be in position 1 because we're going to chop some more trees down now. And here we're going to get the wooden pickaxe and we're all set to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly collect the crafting table back up because we'll use, the, we'll use this later on and then we'll chop some more wood. As you can see, way faster than chopping my hand and that's the importance of it. And there you can see the sun in the sky. It's slowly moving and when it ends up at the other side it will be nighttime and we will have to find shelter by that time and hopefully find some coal cobblestone iron would be great if we could find some of that but usually we don't find that on the first day and I think I'm gonna record up to the first night maybe and then maybe leave you guys off because where's the Sun you can track your day by looking at the sun. Now we have, okay, I'm going to get some more wood and then we'll we'll start having to look for caves because we need to find stone and coal which can bo both be found in caves. And there's a pig over there. Uh, I think we're going to be good on food right now. We can go hunting for food later on. So I'm not going to get that right now. And I am kind of a Minecraft noob. I only discovered it like a few months ago, but ever since then I've been playing it like kind of non-stop, so... Yeah, here we go. Let's find a cave. We need to find an awesome cave. And that's the most important thing right now. Let's go find one. Um, okay, my rendering settings are on low. And that's why you can't see everything very clearly. Oh, a sheep. Um, yeah, let's just take him down right now, quickly. It's so sad that we have to kill the animals, but we need the wool later on to make a bed. And a bed is a very important thing in Minecraft, even though it doesn't really sound like one. And right now, we can only get wool by killing the sheep. Usually, you can shear them later on, but we need a different item for that. And I'm really bad. Oh, my God. Oh, I think there's a cave down here. I'm not sure. Oh, well, there we go. And you get that wool. And then we need one more, and then we'll be all set to go and find that cave we've been looking for. So this is great. This is going much better than I had planned. I didn't think we would encounter sheep this early in the game. One more hit. Come on, baby. Come to me, sheep. There we go. So, okay, our axe just faded away, but we don't really need it anymore. We have our pick, and we need to go find a cave to start digging in. And, okay, where is a cave? Usually there are tons of caves, like, all over the place. They're like holes in the ground and stuff, but um, I'm not finding one. I'm not finding one. That's kind of weird. Um, no cave down. Is there a cave? No. Not down there. Oh, shit. Come on. We need to find a cave before nighttime. That is our objective right now. Maybe I need to go to higher ground. That's what I think I have to do. And here we go. I'll try to record a platinum episode after this, so don't worry about that, guys. And 
Come on! Where are the caves? Okay, this is kind of worrying me now because we need to find a cave really quickly. Let me just quickly change my rendering settings onto um, normal. There we go. And done, and back to game. Alright, so now we can see more stuff and like, yeah, it doesn't lag much more than it was before. But no caves, man! We need to find a cave really quickly. I usually like to camp out in the caves on the first night. Because we can do some mining, hopefully get some more coal and iron and stuff. Okay, here's a cave. Yeah, okay, I love these caves because, wow, if you can see, if we fall down there, we will we'll probably die instantaneously unless we fall into the water. There must be an easy way to get down there. I love these huge caves. They're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And as you can see, there's some stuff over there. I think that's iron over there. there. There's coal over there. This is perfect for us. I can't wait to get down there. But we need to figure out a smart way to get down there. Okay, I think I'm going to jump here. Yeah, that was a good move by me. If I do say so myself. So we're going to build a bridge over there eventually. But first we have to mine some of this cobblestone. And then build a better pick. That is our mission right now. So... We have that crafting table, and it's good we picked it up because now you guys will see what we need to do with it. We have quite a bit of wood. I'm happy with how we're doing so far. We'll probably have to collect some more wood later on in the game, but for right now, we're pretty safe. Um, uh, while we're at it, I'm just going to build an axe so that we can chop wood easier later on. Yeah, I, I just like to do this and quickly get all of that into wooden planks. I love the shift and click, man. It's so awesome. So... Now I'm going to quickly get this back, and now we have to get enough cobblestone to build a bridge across, because I want that coal, because that's good for torches and lighting stuff up, which is very important, I'll explain why. And iron, we need iron as well, so I can't wait to get over there, so we need to mine a lot of cobblestone here to build a bridge, basically, that is my aim. And there's a useful tip to use when building, especially on high grounds and you don't want to fall. I'll tell you guys that tip in a second. Hopefully you guys have played Minecraft before. It's an awesome game. Definitely pick it up. And here we go. So I'm going to quickly... Okay. So it's kind of difficult and scary for people. You... The... The secret to this is, if you hold shift, no matter what, you can't fall. And then you can just build on yourself. Like, not really build on yourself, but you guys see what I mean. And just keep holding shift, and there's no way you can fall. So I'm not scared right now. I would usually be scared before I knew this shift technique, but it's a really useful technique. There's iron down there, even. And if you jump into the water, you probably will live, but I don't want to risk it right now. So here we go. I'm going to mine some cobblestone and create some more space over here. I'll probably make my first house here in the game. Great, a lot of coal. And as you can see, it's that black lump in position 7 in the lower bar. And I love Minecraft so much. It's like an amazing game. It gets kind of boring later on if you don't keep at it. Like the beginning is always the most fun because you get to meet a new world. Like not really meet, but discover a new world. You get situated, you get started, you have a lot to do. But then later on... You have to go mining a lot, and I get actually scared when I'm mining because, like, you have to go into the caves and, like, their voices and stuff creeps me out. So just to be safe, I'm going to mine this first, and we're doing pretty well, but as you can see, my dr chicken dr drumsticks are going down. Like, we don't have enough now, and I think now we won't recover HP or health. Like, we would be <laughs> Pokemon term HP, but um, we would be, re like, healing if we had over... I think eight drumsticks, but we have very few right now. So, um, okay, we mined the iron. I think I should probably set up here for the night. I don't think there's going to be anything behind here. I'm just um, creating a little dig out for me to sleep in. Or Yeah, we can even sleep because we got that wool. The wool is very important. I can't believe this went so well. I hope it's recording, otherwise that would really suck. So... Here we go. I'm not sure how long it's been recording for a while. Wait, that was a creepy noise, okay? You guys should be able to hear that. Yeah, I'm recording the sound, so. Here we go. Now, at night, freaky things happen. Like, creepers come out. Archers come out. These dumb troll monsters come out. And it's really scary if you don't have a place to sleep or live. And that's why we're building one right now. Like, this will be our first ever Minecraft house on Dragon Island and it's an awesome opportunity so I'm just mining this stuff like it doesn't really help me out much because although cobblestone is useful for like primitive tools like this pickaxe is pretty durable in the long run cobblestone is really not that useful at all 
that's why we need to go find some more stuff so what i'm gonna do is if it's still not dark out i'm gonna explore a bit and maybe gather some more stuff like you can see i'm just gonna hold shift so that i don't fall off oh it's still daytime i think it's safe to go and find some more stuff like there's coal over there i want to get that iron down there man but i don't want to risk it by jumping off into the water if I wasn't recording, I probably would jump down, but if you land down there from here, you're dead no matter what. And there's lava over there, if you guys can see, and you don't want to step in that. So I'm just going to keep digging out and make and set up a cool house for you guys, and then we'll probably end the episode there. Sorry if it wasn't that entertaining, but a lot more fun stuff will happen. And here we go, let's quickly make some torches, put all our sticks there and put there so we get four torches for each one stick and one coal i think i'm gonna save about 10 coal i think yeah that's good 32 torches is enough and you guys will see torches are good because they light up the place so you can see better but more importantly they keep like creepers and mobs from spawning like they're called mobs but even animals are called mobs that is just the name they are given let me quickly chop that off. That doesn't look nice. And Minecraft is all is all about like renovating a house, like designing your own house. So it's pretty fun. And that's why I like it. So now we have lit up our house pretty well. And now I will make a door because I I need to keep those bad things out, right? So I'm gonna quickly put the crafting table down here. We have enough wood, so to make a door, you just want to put it like this. And I'll probably make two doors because I think we can make a double door because we have space for doing that. And I've heard, I'm not sure if this is true, but you should always make the door um, from... Oh, wait, now it's nighttime, as you can see. You should place the door like here. Like, if you pl place it inside, creepers can walk in or stuff. I'm not sure if that's true, but I just always place it on the outside, and that's just how I roll. Yeah, I think we actually only need one door, so sorry about that. And I'm going to quickly get that cobblestone into my inventory so that we can seal up this house and make it all nice and safe. Um, yeah, here. Here. And here. And up there. So, we're doing pretty well. Actually, really well, we're doing, we did really awesome today. And now we can even make a bed, which is perfect, like, really awesome this early in the game. So here, we're all sealed in. It's kind of laggy right now, I'm not sure why. And in before we leave, I'm going to quickly make some useful stuff. I'm going to make a double trunk, and then I'm going to make a furnace, because we picked up three iron ore, and to make that into iron ingots, which is the only thing we can actually use, we can't use iron ore, we will have to smelt it in the furnace so let's get on to number three and i'll place the trunk maybe yeah i'll just place it back here we can make a double one here if you put two next to each other they join together and now that like, whenever you die the stuff will stay in the trunk so like i'm just gonna put my old stuff in here and the stuff i don't really need what the hell brown wool oh we need this wool so i'm gonna tell you guys what we need to do with it. i'm gonna keep this Coal, yeah, because we'll only need it for smelting, so I'm going to leave it back here. And cobblestone, we don't need all of it. We can keep that one. We can put this one back. Okay, so I like to put stuff there just in case we do die. And now we need to go into the crafting table, and we need to make a furnace out of cobblestone, which is the same arrangement as a trunk. And the cool thing about this game is you just arrange it in whatever way it should be arranged, and then you can make it. And you can just stack them on top of each other. And here we go. Uh, put the iron ore in here and to make it into iron ingots you need either wood in the bottom one or coal but coal is much more efficient and I think you can even put lava in it later on but more about that later and there we go so now we're smelting the iron it will turn into iron ingots I'll show you guys exactly what they look like and it will take time especially if you collected a lot of them but they're worth it so iron ingots what can you do with them you can make armor you can make stronger weapons with them um, you can make pretty cool stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bed, which is the final thing we're going to do in this episode. Um, I kind of forgot how to make it. I think you have to get three wooden planks. Yeah. And I'm just going to split one, two, three, three. Yeah. And now we need to go into the crafting table and you need to lay these three out like this. And then you put the wool on top to make like a cool little bed. And I don't think the color really matters. So here we go. Yeah, we got a bed. 
So that is exactly what we need. And now the importance of a bed is it sets your spawn point. So whenever I sleep in it, my spawn point will be here. So whenever I die, I'll respawn in this cool little house over here. I think at least that's what it does. And usually I like to place it against a wall, but I can just place it over here and see what it looks like. Yeah, pretty cool. So we have a bed right here, and I think we're all set to go. Do we need to do anything else tonight? I'll quickly collect the iron ingots. There we go. And collect the coal back. I think I'm going to keep this stuff in my inventory just to be safe. And maybe we should light this place up a bit more. Nah, we've, we're fine. So then I'm going to go to sleep. And there's our cozy little three by however many block apartment sort of deal. And yeah, I think we're all set to go. So guys, until next time, this was Dragon Juice 27. Remember, if you want to continue the uh, continue the series, 20 likes by tomorrow morning or something. And you just right click in the bed, you go to sleep, and then you just skip the whole night. And then when you wake up, it's the daytime. So guys, until next time, this was Dragon Juice 27. Peace out.